Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Coronet Ambassador. It's essentially a box camera. It was made in England in about 1955. It was also made by a company called Tiranti, T-I-R-A-N-T-Y, in case I'm mangling the pronunciation, in France. Supposedly that was to avoid uh, import restrictions between the two countries uh, after World War II. There were several models very similar. Um, they all do 6 by 9 centimeter uh, frames on 120 film. Thankfully it's not 620. Uh, there was the ambassador, the console, and the captain. Also, it was about the same but it had two zone focuses that you could select. It has these cool kind of textured chrome covers over the finders. That one is for portrait mode and this one is for landscape. The front and back connectors after you, you always got to remember to to twist and pull out the film wind knob. They actually have these plastic pieces and they have snaps on them. It's really weird. And apparently a lot of those are dead or gone by the time people get these cameras. It's kind of cool. It seems to work. It's light tight. Um, thankfully my copy of this camera, of course now I can't get it back together. These are intact. It has a single speed rotary shutter activated with this little lever on the side. And it has a knob that says time on it. It's right here. You pull that out and it changes it. Sorry. Hard to get to pull out. From uh, instant to time or bulb, so then the shutter will stay open as long as you hold down uh, the shutter lever here. Um, you have to put it on something or brace it against something that does not have a tripod socket. One aspect that I almost forgot in my rush to get the review done, it has another lever in between the shutter and the uh, instant and time selector is for filter. And this camera actually has an integral green filter that you pull this out and it pulls it in front of the lens. Cuts it by about two stops and it's good for giving uh, greenery kind of a nice pop. It's got a really good green filter built into it. So anyway, I wanted to make sure I inserted that aspect of this because it's kind of cool slash weird and it's a unique thing about this camera. Um, most of the body is bake light plastic um, I haven't not I have not measured yet, but most of the info that I've found says that this is about f16 at a thirtieth of a second. I used that when I was shooting a roll through it. Um, it was Fuji Acros uh, ISO 100, and the exposure is good. It had some other problems, but the exposure was good. Um, while I was using it. The mirror inside the landscape finder fell off inside, so I'm going to have to tear into it. So if I find anything interesting while I'm in there, I'll uh, add that to the blog entry for it. Normally it had a uh, plastic handle here. This one is missing that. But other than that and the mirror falling off, um, it's in pretty good shape. So I'm going to do a few reviews in rapid succession for cameras that I've already shot because life intrudes and I actually have a little quiet space here to get some of this done. 
Um, I probably will not shoot with this one again right away because I got some catch catching up to do, but I will see you then.